The look for less is all about creating home decor, a wardrobe, or whatever else your heart desires for less than retail. So grab your coffee or tea and be inspired. My inspiration piece was this clock I found at Macy's for a whopping $500. And then I found the identical clock at Ballard Designs for $239. That's a pretty hefty price difference, but something I'm still not willing to pay. So I put a bug in my husband's ear and he brought me home this cable spool the very next day. So we removed the four bolts from the center and it fell apart. And I was left with these two very rough 42 inch discs. Cue the sander. For the first clock, I decided to stain it Rust-Oleum's Provincial, and I am just slapping it on, you guys, making sure I get into all those little nooks and crannies and nail holes, and then just wiping it off with a rag. I think the Rust-Oleum Provincial stain really enhances that industrial feel of this spool. For the second clock, I decided to dry brush it with just some leftover sample paint that I had. I wanted a very, very subtle finish on it, so I wiped almost all of the paint off. I am just so excited about this finish. I am totally in love. Here is some circles of sheet metal that I traced big enough to cover the center of the spool and I spray painted them Rust-Oleum's Hammered Black. We attached the metal disc with some screws and drilled a hole in the center. To add the numbers, I decided to add the hands of the clock first at the 12 o'clock position, and then rotate the clock hands until the minute hand made it back to the 12, and then added the hour where it, the hour hand pointed. Now you guys, I got almost all the way done and realized that I'm missing one Roman numeral one. But no worries, I have another one on the way. The second industrial style clock is for my sister and I cannot wait to give it to her for her birthday. And here they are, two completely different clocks made from one cable spool. And here's a close up of that finish. Oh, I just love it. I hope my sister loves her industrial style clock as much as I love mine. To hang it, we cut a 1x4 in half at a 45 degree angle to make a French cleat, um, which allows us to screw it right into the studs for a very sturdy and safe attachment to the wall. Here she is displayed proudly in the center of our home, anxiously awaiting a partner for number two. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share to stay tuned for more videos. Also, don't forget to click the playlist in the link below. Thank you all so much and have a great weekend.